Hey, and welcome to another devlog. At this point, I'm honestly just tired of intros. You know the drill. Discord and description, have fun, etc. Anyway, let's start off with the story. Just let me activate my narrator voice for this one. In the Midlands, a long, long time ago. Okay, no, I'm just gonna say it normally. So, the story is pretty basic. Here's a quick summary. The Bitlands is like a hub for strange and magical creatures. Freaks, castaways, and more flood to the Bitlands in search of acceptance. In the Bitlands, there are three main kingdoms. The Cloudlands, the Swamplands, and the Ashlands. The kings have been corrupted by power and are all at war for total control over the Bitlands. You are a human who possesses magic, which is uncommon for a human. But you're also a naive rebel who wants to take down the corrupt kings all on your own and restore peace to the Bitlands without any sort of plan. On your adventure, you defeat the kings and unlock new magic and allies to help you on your journey. Like I just said, the scope of the project isn't all that large, so there's not too much of a comprehensive story. I guess I should also mention that the dialogue system is, after five days of work, this was my first time creating a dialogue system on my own from scratch, complete with sound effects, icons, and all. You can interact with the NPCs, but if you don't really like them that much, you can just walk away. I tried to make this dialogue system to the best of my abilities, and I'm super satisfied with how it turned out. Let's actually go delve into the code of the dialogue system and see how it works. Okay, this might get a little technical here. This dialogue system works by using three central variables. The variable text stores the text that is currently drawn on the screen, and the second variable, str, stores the full string of the dialogue that is to be drawn on the screen. The last variable, index, stores the position of where I'm at in the string, and is the variable that determines what word will be added to the text variable, which is actually what is drawn onto the screen. I have it set up so that it only adds a word every so often, based on a speed variable that can be modified. This allows the player to press the X button to speed up the dialogue. And there are the fundamentals. It's a bit too complicated to summarize it all in a devlog when it could be a whole 10 and up minute video in itself. This week I was celebrating Thanksgiving with my family, so there's not a lot of content, but hey, I got to play a ton of Jackbox with my cousins, so I'd say it was worth it. But alas, not even my family can stop me from programming. I was focusing, obviously, on coding the NPC interaction system, along with ironing out a lot of bugs, so I didn't get too much done in terms of gameplay. Although I did add in a cool little mechanic. You might find some NPCs trapped in cages. You don't have to free them, but they restore your health and they sometimes have some pretty helpful information. I mean, I made the Swamp Man sprite, the dialogue sprites, and finished off the background. I also made some concept art of the logo. Looks decent enough to me for now. All jokes aside, I am working on some music though. This week has been super light in terms of development, but luckily, now I got the story and dialogue stuff out of the way, which means next up for my to-do list is to make more levels with some new obstacles and enemies. Thanks for watching! If you want to support my work, consider doing so over on my Patreon, or if you just want to have some fun, go over and head to my Discord. And once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next devlog.